This video has been brought to you by DataVinci Analytics Agency. In this video, we are going to discuss how to install custom HTML and JS tags in Adobe Launch. So again, this is going to be very, very simple video or is it? We'll find out. So what are we going to cover in this video? The first thing that we are going to cover is where to put the codes for custom HTML and JS in Adobe Launch. So how to get there, what to do, what to click, what to read, things like that. All right. The second thing we are going to discuss is how to pass the dynamic values to JS tags. If you do not know what I mean by dynamic values, just wait for it. The third thing that we are going to discuss is how to pass dynamic values to HTML tags. All right. But before that, what are custom HTML tags and how are they different from JS tags? So HTML tags will always have starting of a tag type and ending of a tag type. So for example, it would be mostly a script tag or an image tag, right? So when you get a code from your uh, marketing or analytics vendor, right, that this is a custom HTML code that you need to put on all the pages on your site or on certain interactions, and uh, they will provide us uh, documentation for that, right? So if you use that code, okay and if you place that code in the console of your browser then you cannot expect to see any output as such and it can also happen that you get errors right if you put that code in your browser console and you see some output right then the chances are that that is a js tag it is not an uh, html tag now in case you're wondering but where will you get these html tags and javascript tags then these tags are usually provided by your marketing vendors or the tools that you're using so for example the company for which you are managing the uh, the tag management software uh, that company has tied tied up with some uh, marketing partner right and that marketing partner would then request for the tags their tags to be placed on the website right so they will share the tags with you they will share the documents and the instructions on how the tag should be put okay these tags can also be accessed from tools like facebook or uh, adwords or uh, other tools and if you have the proper accesses then these uh, tools provide certain guidelines on where you can find these uh, these tags that you need to put on the website okay now let's start the dance okay now assume that we have a tool called martic and this is document that has been shared by the martic team and they have requested that these pixels need to be placed on all the pages on the website right so usually this is how the documents would look this is how the instructions would look now here as you can see that this is having this thing right so this is an html tag okay so as i mentioned earlier that whenever you have uh, uh, something like image or script that is mentioned as part of the code that's an html tag now if you take this and if you just go and paste this on your uh, console so you will usually get this error that uncaught symbol because html tags are not identified in the uh, in the browser console right so uh, let's start with uh, implementing this how we are going to do this let's go to adobe launch and look at it so we are now in Adobe launch, right? So in Adobe launch, you need to go to rules and I'm hoping that you would have more rules, but I do not have any rules in this dummy property. So I'm creating a new rule, right? So here you need to set the trigger condition for your uh, custom HTML script. So there can be different conditions. There can be conditions where you want to track the HTML script on certain conversions. It can be the condition on uh, certain pages or uh, certain clicks. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep it simple and I'm going to select a simple event type that is it's uh, page page top, right? So as soon as the Adobe launch library has been loaded, right? So this pixel will get fired and uh, I do not want to keep any extra conditions around it. In actions, you will keep your extension as core only, right? And here in action type, you will put custom code. Now here you will get two options. One is JavaScript and other is HTML. Okay. So let's select uh, HTML because we are going to uh, implement an HTML based tag, right? Now, whatever code you have been provided with, just uh, take that code. Okay. And paste it right now this HTML code has been pasted for you now the other things that you need to pay attention to if this is a simple HTML tag with uh, with no extra conditions 
so you can just paste this as it is but it can also happen that you have been instructed to pass certain values so for example here you can see that we need to pass the order id okay here we need to pass the amount and other things right now this tag has been created for conversion so this tag would only fire on conversions for the sake of simplicity i am going to fire this on all pages but irrespective of that we need to pass these values order ids and amount so how would you get those values right so there are various ways to do that the most common way is that you will request your developers to pass these values in the data layer in the uh, data layer object that you have on the page if you do not know what a data layer is so i have created a very exhaustive video on data layer and the link to that has been provided in the description box below so do follow that one okay so now let's uh, assume that you have created a data element based on the data layer values that the developers are passing on the page okay so how can you access those values in this html script that we will look at next before moving further, I would like to invite you to join our group on Facebook, the Digital Optimization League by DataVinci. This is a group dedicated to digital analytics where we share various digital analytics updates, tag management updates, conversion rate optimization and data visualization. So looking forward to meet you here. So let's assume that you have a data element in the name of order ID. And as the name suggests, this data element holds the order ID of the order that the user has placed on the website. Now this order ID in most cases would be based on uh, the data layer object right so it would be basically a javascript variable where you will define the structure of the data layer or the data layer object that is holding the value of the order id that our developers are passing on the page right for the sake of this video i have kept it very simple and rather i have put it as a constant data element type which is going to be a static value because here i just want to illustrate how to call the value of a data element in a custom html or a javascript tag okay so let's just play with this for now so we know that the name of the data element that is holding the order id is order underscore id right so now let's go back to the tag that we have created now in the tag you will look at i have replaced this particular offer id value by this thing percent order id percent right so this is the syntax that we need to follow in the html tags that is percent name of the data layer uh, data element and again percent right so if you use this one and it needs to be exactly the name that you have created the data element with so it's case sensitive so over here like o is in uppercase and i is in uppercase the same convention i have followed over here and so if you use this particular syntax in your uh, html tags then whatever value is getting passed in order id would get retrieved okay so let's just save this and keep changes and save to library and build this library and then we'll go to the site and debug this so we are now on the site the first thing that i want to check over here is the value of order id and for that we can use this particular function satellite.getvar and here we need to pass the name of the data element for which we want to check uh, check the value and here we wanted to check for order id and as you can see it's test which we had set as a constant value okay now if i refresh this page and uh, I expect to see a 404 error over here because uh, we, we were just passing dummy values and as such the image request does not exist right so if we look over here what was the value that we were passing so we have created an image request which is passing uh, which is having a source in a fake uh, domain lively.org so as such I, I do not know whether this thing exists or not but I have just created a fake URL right so here it since it's fake it's resulting into error a 404 error because that was not found and here as you can see that the HTTPS request has been created and in offer id here the value that is getting passed is test right so we have properly implemented this and adobe launch is able to retrieve the value from the data element and pass it into the html tag right so this is how you will enable install the html tags and also if you want to pass the values dynamically this is how you will do that now let's just see how you will repeat this for custom javascript tags so if we have to put in a javascript tag instead of html tag then at this section of the uh, of the step we will select javascript instead of html okay so if you select javascript and click on open editor 
So let's assume that this is a JavaScript that has been provided to us by the uh, marketing team or the marketing partner, right? Now here, one of the things that needs to be passed is uh, like uh, the value for ADV underscore sub that needs to be customer ID. Let's just assume that, okay? So here we, we are passing customer ID. This is a variable and this variable has been defined over here okay so here if you look at it then what 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 is the thing that we are feeding into the customer id variable we are feeding the value uh, of the data layer object that is holding the customer id so if digital data is the name of the data layer then this is if if we type this in the browser console right if you go to the browser console and type this then it will return the customer id okay so let's just assume that uh, the team provides us a tag like this so the marketing partner provides us an instruction to implement this tag in the instruction it would be mentioned that over here we need to pass the customer id right so in adobe launch then as uh, the gatekeepers of the tag manager it is our responsibility to populate this particular variable with the customer id so one way over here is uh, with JavaScript tags is that we can directly call the data layer object that is storing the value of the customer ID object. The other way is we can use the same function that I showed you earlier, which is underscore satellite dot get var. Right. So here, let's assume that uh, customer ID is uh, being stored in in a variable and we will just put the name of the variable. Now here again, for the sake of simplicity, I'll just call that variable order underscore id it's the same variable that we created earlier right now customer id is storing the value of the data element and the name of the data element is order id so whatever the developer developers are going to pass into uh, the order id data element or the uh, uh, variable that is uh, creating the order id data element that would get passed to customer id right and eventually it would be called over here right so let's just test this as well we again expect to see lively.org in the network call and we expect to see customer id getting passed as test because we have set it as a constant value so as you can see that this one is coming and uh, offer id or uh, a awb underscore sub is getting passed as test right so this one is getting fired because of the javascript tag and uh, the last one was getting fired because of the html tag custom html tag right so it's already in the de uh, development uh, library in case you are uh, concerned about that so i've already ensured that we are looking at the development library of adobe launch right so these are the two ways uh, through which you can set your custom html or javascript tags and if you want to dynamically pass the values then this is how you will get the value through either your data elements or uh, uh, in, in case you are creating a javascript based custom tag then you can pass the name of the data layer or the or the data layer element that is storing the value that you want to pass dynamically to the custom html or javascript tags right so let's do a quick recap of what we have covered in this video. So we can install the custom HTML or JS tags with core extensions in the rules. We can retrieve the value of data elements in the HTML and JS tags to make them dynamic. To retrieve the value of data elements in HTML tags, we can use the person name of data element person syntax. To retrieve the value of data elements in JS tags, we can use the underscore satellite dot get var function. We can also directly use the data layer elements in the custom JS tags and this is not possible in custom HTML tags. Alright, so hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe.